Let's try this calculation again so we can get a better idea how this works. I'm going to use a slightly different scenario. I want to calculate the probability of event D given that event W has occurred. Again, very similar situation. You'll notice again here is W, an ending. And all it says is that we know that somehow we've ended up in W. That's our how where we wound up at. The question is, what's the chance that D occurred? So we find ourselves in exactly the same position. What's the probability of that happening? Well, the only way that W that D could have occurred is if we went through W, H complement, and D. That's the only way. Notice how I'm now not using this formula exactly, but I'm using the spirit of this formula. In other words, I know what this formula is supposed to be indicating, so now I'm adapting for this new situation. I need D and H complement and W instead of 2. I know there's only 2 right here, 2 events, but unfortunately the tree says that the link is to go through H complement, so I have to include it. That's the only way to get to the final stage, W. And again at the bottom here, since W is the assumed event that has already occurred, we know that for a fact, then that comes at the bottom. Now we just need to recalculate how do we find W? And here's our calculation. Again, the numerator, straightforward, is 15% times 45% times 35%, the chance of going down this path. What's the chance of W? Well, it's this path right here. That we need to, we can get to W by going through this path or this path here. We can go through G, we can go through F complement, and we can go back through W. Which now I've put here at the end. So notice again how this formula works. The probability of W is the probability of going down this path or this other path, both ending in W, which is what we want. Calculate this and again we have our probability. Again this rule is called Bayes rule because what we want to find the power is one of the items in the beginning of the stages of the tree. We're, we're really starting at an ending point so to speak and then going back to the, one of the beginning points. So probability of W, so the probability of D given W we will have to use Bayes rule. I hope this you found this clip uh, helpful. And again, one thing you need to practice is how to read a tree diagram. Just being able to read a tree diagram is a great help in answering a lot of probability questions.